Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode in my Subnautica Let's Play series, the Subnautica Survival Guide. And in this episode, we're going to be working really, really hard to try and get our hands on a Cyclops by the end of the episode. That's the goal. We're going to see if we can get there. It's quite an undertaking. There's a ton of different resources and things that need to be gathered. Now, you may have noticed that before I do just about anything else, I really, really need to get myself some food because I am running a very low, not only on food, but also on water as well. So it's going to be very important that I get some of that. I'm going to grab some of these air sac fish so I can make uh, water and things like that. I'm going to gather some resources, and I will meet you guys back at the life pod. All right, guys, I am back, and I did manage to get my hands on some water. I do still need to find myself some salt, though, so I can cook up some peepers and uh, some of that other kind of stuff. But one thing that we're going to need for the Cyclops is we're going to need some computer chips and things like that. So let's go ahead and grab some of these uh, jeweled disc fragments. We'll just grab a few of these. They're not hard to find. They're just right I mean the life pod is right here you can find them they look kind of like these red disky things that are sticking outside of the uh, rock formation so we're gonna need some of those for our Cyclops we're also going to need a few other materials that are a bit harder to find so let's grab a few different things here and hopefully let's see how's our inventory doing Ooh, not so good um, Let's deposit some of this stuff back into the submarine to open up some inventory space. We don't need the jewel discs right this second. We don't need these batteries at the moment. The quartz we also don't need right now. And the scrap metal I think we're actually going to take with us. But for the Cyclops, we are going to need five enameled glass. That's going to be tricky to get. We're going to need five titanium ingots. We have that sitting in our base. We're going to need an advanced wiring kit, which is right, uh, an advanced wiring kit? Well, you know what? I guess we'll do this. Let's head out here, take a look at the constructor, and let's just make sure that it's not something that you construct on the constructor. Oh, looks like they listened to feedback and they toned back the extremely annoying noise associated with the constructor. That's fantastic. That was probably the most annoying noise I'd ever heard in a video game. So they've changed that. That makes me really happy. All right. Well, let's grab some quartz. Need to find myself some copper so I can make a battery for my sea glide. Titanium, not really doing me any good. The scrap metal we're actually going to use to get those uh, teeth from the nasty uh, whatever critters they're called. We'll find them over here. There's a whole bunch. Let's see. These critters. Sometimes when they pick up metal like that, they leave a tooth behind. Just like, ow! that stalkers whoo they're coming they're coming for me hoo, hoo, hoo. look at those things go man all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of keep an eye out here and they're just gonna keep dropping these teeth we need a total of five let's uh, swim for the surface since I'm running out of oxygen and I think we've got three of those stalker teeth right now. They're not that hard to get, as long as you know how to get them. That's the tricky bit. All right, guys, I am back. And I did manage to get some supplies that we're going to need for this whole little endeavor. We've got some copper. We can use that to make batteries because my lovely sea glide here is almost certain to run out of batteries unless I refill it here very shortly. And we also managed to get ourselves some salt so that I can cook up those peepers I found earlier. Looks like I need one more acid mushroom. Do I have any more in here? No, I don't, but those are easy enough to get. We'll just make ourselves a couple of batteries 
and then we can go get some good stuff. So let's grab one of those, come back up here, and as long as you have a battery in your inventory when your Sea Glide goes dead, you are just fine. So copper wires, silicone, titanium, what we really need is that advanced wiring kit. We've got a normal wiring kit, but we really need an advanced one. And a computer chip we'll need as well. We're going to need silver, we're going to need quartz, we're going to need all sorts of stuff that we don't really have a whole lot of at this moment. So let's take some of this. We'll take five stalker teeth with us. We'll put the scrap metal away because I don't really need that right now. And we'll take all of this quartz here and uh, maybe a couple more jewel discs because we've got room in our inventory. And let's head to our Seamoth and head back to our base, which is marked by a beacon right over here. So I'm going to head back over that way, and I'll meet you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and we are back at the base, and I have heard that one of the best places to get resources that we need, specifically gold and silver, is going to be right in here in this sort of biome that we're looking at these uh, kelp forests. This is what we're in right now. And you can find both gold and silver by breaking these chunks of rock. I think it's limestone. It's either limestone or sandstone. Either way, you'll find them scattered throughout this little area. Here we go. Limestone chunks. That one's titanium, which doesn't really do me any good. But some of these... Ooh... Stasis Rifle Fragment. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Let's grab ourselves a sandstone chunk there. We got silver out of that one. We're going to need lots of quartz. We're going to need salt for fish. We're going to need all this stuff, ultimately. So let's grab what we can. Titanium I don't really need. But I need more glass and I need more silver. All of those are going to be very important for building the Cyclops. I also need to find how to build the Cyclops, because i it seems you may need to find a blueprint for it. And I don't know that I have that blueprint. Ooh. And it is getting... It's... Uh, we're running out of air. So let's head back into the base. We can refill in here. And let's start working on some of this stuff that needs constructing. So, we'll grab all of this quartz. And we can start turning some of that into glass. Three quartz will make one glass. And then, I can take... Here we go, these stalker teeth. And I can turn that into enameled glass which is right here. We need five enamel glass for the Cyclops. All right, guys, I am out here, and I'm gathering some more resources, trying to see what I can find. I think my Sea Glide might just run out of battery power here pretty quick, so we're kind of scouring the area, hoping to find as much as we can in the meantime. Now, it's important to note, this is something that I've noticed, uh, the good resources like gold and stuff like that are only going to come from sandstone deposits. You won't find them in limestone, only in sandstone. So like this, this is limestone. I'm not going to get gold or silver. I'll get copper or titanium. Oh, and that's the radiation suit, or that's the radiation area heading into the crashed ship. And I'm not ready to go there just yet. We need all sorts of special stuff before we can do that. I am quickly running out of air. Can I make it to the base in time? Please, pretty please. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to. Nope, I am definitely going to die. All right, guys, I am back, and we're just dropping that stasis rifle fragment into our fragment analyzer. I did also grab a new fish along the way here a spade fish. So, we've got salt. We've got the spade fish. Let's give it a try. Let's see. Plus 40 food. Wow. That's actually really good. That's really good. Cool. And we did get enough quartz to make a little bit more glass, which I can take back to the base. 
and make into enameled glass as well. So, we've got some, some, not all, but some of the resources that we need for our Cyclops, although we still don't actually have the Cyclops, uh, we don't have like the advanced wiring kit and some of that kind of stuff yet. So that's going to be a little bit more of a challenge and we will get there hopefully sooner rather than later. I'm just going to grab as much as I can along the way back to the base and we'll take a look and see what we can find out. Ooh, hey, you guys, you, no, come back. You guys come in handy. Water's good. I need that. Okay, anyway. So we'll head back to base and kind of take a survey of what our position is and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys, I am back. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a computer chip. Oh, here we go. Advanced wiring kit. Two gold and a computer chip. Okay. You know what? I might actually have everything I need to make that. Uh, where did we put those jewel discs? There we go. Oh, we need one more. One more jewel disc. Here we go. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a computer chip. And then the advanced wiring kit, we need two gold. And I don't think I have two. I think I've only got one. So that, but that's okay. That's all right. We're going to go get some more and uh, I'll see what I can find. I'll head out into the wild and see what I can find for gold and all that kind of stuff. And I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back and I've got myself a fair amount of gold. I've got enough now that I think I can make that advanced wiring kit. We've got the gold. We just need to grab the computer chip and we've got the computer chip right there. So this is good. So we've got the advanced wiring kit. We've got the five enameled glass right in here. Well, here in a combination of a couple other places. And I think all that's left, advanced wiring kit, five enamel glass. I think all we have left are the five titanium ingots. And that should be everything we, oh, we need plasteel ingots, not titanium ones. Oh, I was close. I was close, but not quite. Lithium. I need five lithium. All right, guys, I am here, and I am trying to find me some lithium. I'm here in a uh, mushroom forest biome thing. But I don't know, I'm not really sure where I should be looking for lithium. I've heard that you can find it in clusters and near the bark, but I have not seen any at all, so... I might be out of luck. I don't know. I think it's time that we head back to the surface. Ooh, I, I am not going to make it back to the surface. I'm going to die again. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. All right, guys. I am back, and I do have one other thing that I need to make. I need to make myself a power cell, and then I can actually make use of my sea glide because my sea glide is almost, almost out of power. It is dangerously close. So we're going to make ourselves a couple more batteries here real quick to take with us. We got our batteries, we got our oxygen tank, we got everything. Okay. We should have everything we need to go on a lithium quest. I've got a new power cell in there. Seamoth is at 100%. Let's go and do some exploring. Hopefully we'll find lithium. That is, that's the hope. We're looking for a mushroom forest biome. Or a couple other, there's a couple other biomes that lithium spawns in as well. But mushroom forests are probably the easiest ones to uh, identify. So that's what we're ultimately looking for, is a mushroom forest. I know there's one around here somewhere because I found it earlier. And I found lithium before as well. I just didn't actually use it yet. Let's maybe head down. The deeper you go, the more likely you are to find cool stuff, right? That's how it works. 
right? Or or scary stuff. It's well, th this is a mushroom forest. It's really dark. And it's uh it's a little scary. Just just a little bit. Let's get out of here and let's let's look around see if maybe we can find ourselves some lithium. Oh, there's a little bit. Lithium. Lithium. Did I, I got it, right? Yeah. Lithium, lithium. Oh, it's so much easier to find at night because it's got that nice light purple glow. Grab some more. I'm just going to grab, like, all the lithium I can find because, frankly, I'm sure it will be needed. I'm sure it will be needed as we move forward. Is there any more? Do I see any more lithium? Warning. 30 seconds of Not remaining. really. But we've got enough. We've got five pieces. That's all we need for the Cyclops. We can, or, yeah, for the Cyclops. We can worry about finding more later. Let's get into our sea moth and head back to base. Oh, we have all the materials. I'll meet you back at base, guys. All right, and we are back, and we are in the process of turning those five titanium ingots into plasteel ingots. We should have just enough in our inventory. I've got some leftovers left in there. But I think we will have everything we need. Five plasteel ingots. Three enameled glass there, an advanced wiring kit. Two more enameled glass right there. And that should be everything, and it is. So, now we just gotta go to the constructor, which is back at the escape pod. And we should be able to build ourselves the Cyclops. I'll see you there. All right, guys, here we are. Moment of truth. Time to make ourselves a Cyclops. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, look at the size of that thing. That is amazing. That thing is huge. And it's just materializing. Who needs this dinky little submersible over here? I'm going to have a giant submarine. I am loving the Cyclops right now. Look at this beast. What a beast. I don't even know how to get inside. Can... <laughs> I don't even know how to get in. Can I fly the seat? Can I... Can I get the sea moth to go into the... The Cyclops? I don't even know. Unless you enter it, I wonder if you enter it from on top, like an actual submarine. That would be kind of cool. Can I get to it up here? Maybe? No? No? How do I get inside you? That's... I just want to... I just want to get in my new shiny... I, I have a... How... Oh, board, board Cyclops. Okay. How do I do the? Oh, down here. Aha. Gotcha. So you can come inside. There's tons of space in this thing. Launch bay. If we got... Climb up a ladder. Look at this thing. Oh, no Seamoth docked. So we can dock a sea moth to it. Time to pilot the sub out towards more open water. Now the cool thing about this is that it won't, apparently, anyway, it won't take damage if it's above a certain sea level. So now I gotta figure out how to dock a sea moth with it. 
Because I've got that other little sub, I've got that other little submersible, and I'd like to take it with me if I can. But you know what, guys? I think we're gonna cover that in the next episode. So, guys, we did manage to get ourselves a sea moth in this one. Next episode, we'll play around with how to actually use it and all that kind of good stuff. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook. Twitter and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. Which is kind of cool. Apparently, this whole thing is like a 2000 by 2000 area, all custom made. Uh, which is that's a pretty that's a pretty fantastic undertaking, I must say.